Hey everyone, this is Heather with Midnight Serenity, and today we are going to complete the Apple with Books keychain. And so we have the blank. I've already taken the brown paper off, but this was on the top. Oops, this brown paper was on the top. You're just gonna use a pin pen. Um, as you can see, here's the pin pen. It has, I don't know if the vid camera, there you go. It's got a very um, pointy tip on it that will get that off of there. You need something to stir your resin. If you chose the glitter option, we're using Sirius by All Covered in Glitter. You'll need a little cup to mix your resin with, something to put it on your blank. These silicone sticks, silicone brushes work perfectly. And then we have our vinyl. So we have our apple, we have our blue book, we have our green book. So we're gonna put those on once we're all done. And then we have our hardware. So you have a tassel, we have a key ring, and we have a jump ring. All right, so we'll put those on last. Now, everybody does these differently. The way that I do mine is not necessarily quote unquote the right way, um, but it's also not the wrong way. My way is my way and what works for me. So like I tell everybody, you certainly can find how it works best for you and do your, um, you know, your way and your process, but I'm just going to show you what works for me. So today we are using Resin Rockers UV Resin Hard Type. This is my favorite type of resin. I will link all of this in the comments below. So if you choose to um, purchase these items, you will have the links. All right, and we just need a little bit because we're not covering much space. So I put in here about, hmm, 5cc roughly. All right, and next we are going to use the Sirius. Now, when you put the glitter in, you don't need a ton of glitter. You wanna make sure that you don't have too much glitter because if you do, then your resin will not sit properly and it does risk peeling off. So you just need a little bit to make it look like there's glitter in there basically. And then we are going to go ahead, take our stir stick, this is UV resin, so you don't wanna do this in front of a window where there's direct sunlight. It will cure on you, so you do wanna be back away from the direct sunlight, and you'll want a UV lamp that is about 24 to 36 watt, which is the best for the, um, the Resin Rockers UV resin. Now you are going to want it to look kinda of like cake batter, so you don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick. This is about the right type, a little bit of cake batter. And we're gonna cure this under our light. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour this on here. I usually start in the center of my blank and I work out to the edges. That way we get nice coverage. And again, I do everything on the front. Um, some people have a preference of putting the resin and glitter on the back and then putting their vinyl on the front. That is certainly okay also. It's all a matter of personal preference. And so far, um, personally, my customers have been okay with it this way. So whatever works best for your process, certainly feel free to do it the other way. All right, and then I'm just going to take little bits. This is kind of a a medium or a small chunky. So it does work a little bit different in the resin, but I like to give all different types of glitter so that you have a chance to try them, especially if you're doing my DIY box. With the glitter, you do receive enough glitter um, so that you can not only use it for this project, but you have a little bit extra. And I do also include where I get everything from so that that way, again, if you wanna purchase more, you know where it came from, if it's something you really love. So I will uh, link where the beads came come from on all of the items. I will also link where all of the glitter comes from, um, the blanks, all of that good stuff. So you'll know right where you can repurchase more. All right, we're just going to finish up this apple. I thought maybe black um, would just make those colors pop. So that's why I chose black. I mean, I realize it's kind of a darker color, but I thought maybe it would be good. 
So we're just going to go ahead and almost done with this. And once this is finished, you're going to want to hit it with a torch. Now I get torches from uh, Menards. They're like, I don't know, $1.79 or something. They are refillable, but I find that once I refill them, they don't work the same. So I generally just toss them when they're empty. But you can have a torch that will last you a very long time because you're not using a lot of heat on this. If you do use a lot of heat, it will make your um, resin kind of uh, burn. So you definitely don't want to use too much heat. So this is the type of torch that I'm going to use. And you're just going to simply click, click. You don't want to hold it on there. You just want to simply click it so that that way you get some of the bubbles. And again, you are going to be putting vinyl over this. Um, that one looked a little low, so I'm just going to kind of dab it there. Um, you will be putting vinyl over this so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and now we're going to use our UV lamp. This is a nail lamp. My other ones, the lights went out. And we're going to put it under here for two minutes. And I'm gonna put my brushes under here also so that that way they cure as well. So I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. And we're gonna put that under there for two minutes. And we'll be back once it's cured. All right, so now that this is cured, we can clean off the tip of the brush. And we can also clean off, that's still a little wet on the back side. We'll cure that a little bit more, because that's still wet. All right, no baby. So we are going to go ahead and put our decals on here while we are waiting for that to cure. I buy my transfer tape by Giant Rolls from One Source Supply. They are linked in my bio if you're interested. I will put them down below. All right, so you're going to put the bottom book on first, which is your green one. And you're just gonna line it up with the little, on here I wanna show you, this little hump right here, which is this edge of the book. That's where you're gonna line it up. So you're just gonna lay it on there, line it up with that corner and then just follow it across, press it down, and then peel off your transfer tape. So now your green book has been placed. Now you can personalize this if you'd like. Um, obviously I, I didn't send any personalization with this, but you certainly can, if you have a cutting machine, you can add a teacher's name, you can add a subject, all kinds of things. So again, with the blue, we're gonna line it up and now your blue book has been added. And then next we are going to add our apple. Now you can also use a squeegee, I'm not sure where mine is, um, to you know scrape it with the squeegee and then your vinyl will just, sometimes you might have to just kind of pull the back off carefully like that. And now we are going to Go ahead and place the apple. And now we have the apple on there. Now you'll notice on here that the, the keychain hole has been covered up. That's not a problem. You can either take a little drill and drill through it, or if you have one of these hooks, this is the perfect size for you to, if you push down, you can see the indent and you're just going to push it through, turn it a little bit, make that hole, and voila, you have your keyhole again. All right, now I do reuse my transfer tape for quite a while until it no longer works. So we're just gonna set that aside for the next project. And now we're gonna dome this. So in doming this, you're just going to put some UV resin on top of it, plain resin, no glitter. Um, and then we're going to spread it around. Now I always, again, using the resin markers, UV resin hard type, I always kind of put like a circle in the center. Um, I'll be honest with you, I am the queen of overflow, but <laughs> just try your best. Um, put about a quarter, size of a quarter, depending on the size of the blank. You could even go the size of a dime. And then you're just going to work from the center 
and you're gonna push it out to the edges just like you're painting a picture. If you do get run over, I'm gonna show you how to fix that because like I said, I am the queen of run over, so I have some tools that I use to clean those edges up. It is not a big deal. Same with the hole. If you do get run over of your resin in the keychain hole, just take a drill with a, um, if I remember correctly, I can double check, it's a 3 16th drill bit, and you would simply drill out that hole and then you have your keychain ready. You're just gonna do it very carefully. So I'm just gonna continue painting all the way to the edges. I call it painting, I'm really spreading the resin, but it feels like painting. Just very gently pulling the resin from the center. When you get around the keychain hole, just kinda daintily go around it. All right, and then we're going to get up here to the stem. And again, you're just gonna very carefully, it does not take a lot, just kind of dab that stem, probably can't see me. And then you're just gonna pull this out from the center out to the edges. Again, just very carefully pulling it so that you're getting all of it. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna look at it on an angle so that I can make sure that I got all of the vinyl covered. You wanna make sure that you don't see any vinyl sticking out anywhere and I don't, it looks good. Now I do have air bubbles in here and that is completely normal. Again, you're gonna take your torch, see if this will not roll, and you're just going to, again, hit it quickly. You don't wanna hold the torch on it because you will burn the resin. So we're just gonna carefully hold it. Down here I feel like I got maybe some extra glitter, which is inevitable sometimes. Don't be in a rush to cure these. Um, you just want to let them sit, let any bubbles rise to the top. If you rush in curing them, you could miss bubbles and some are still rising. So just, you know, give it give it about 10 minutes or, well, 10 minutes is kind of a long time, but um, maybe five minutes. Just let it sit. Keep working those bubbles out. And what I do when I see the bubbles is I hit them with my silicone brush and I get them to, you know, just kind of tap them so that they get to the top of the vinyl, or top of the resin, I mean. That way I can be sure to get them out of there. I think there's a, I feel like there's a piece of glitter or something there that is catching me off guard. All right, it does look pretty good. I feel like I got all of the pieces. Be sure that you wear the appropriate PE, PPE when you're doing these, whether it be gloves if you're touching it or a face mask um, if you're doing the resin. So we're gonna go ahead and put the light on this and let it cure for one minute and 20 seconds and I will be back. All right, so this is almost done curing. Now you don't want to touch it. I threw my little cup under there to cure. Um, we're going to take the little bit of resin off of the tip and throw that away. Now with the um, Resin Rockers UV resin, it does continue to cure um, and release the gases for even up to 24 hours. So you don't want to really like touch it. You can kind of just, um, I just kind of breeze over it just to, you know, make sure it's not tacky feeling, but you don't want to put fingerprints on it for at least, um, I would say a good, even 24 hours if you're able to leave them sit. So as you can see in this one, I have quite a bit of run over. I got it there and over here. So I'm just gonna cure this upside down and that way I can break those off and I'll show you how. So again, we're just gonna cure this for another 120 seconds and I'll be right back. All right, so now that has been cured, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these jewelry pliers. They have a very pointy needle, uh, needle nose head, and we're going to carefully break off these pieces. Now when you do this, you're gonna push down and kind of wiggle it. You don't wanna pull up because you don't wanna break that um, seal on there. So you're pulling down so that you're pulling away from the seal so you're not breaking it. You're gonna do that all the way around. So here, 
is another piece. And again, just kind of wiggling it until I push it down. And then we'll throw those pieces away. And here's another little bit of overage. Okay, so now that you have that all taken care of, you are going to go ahead and peel off that vinyl and that's gonna be garbage. And we have, look at that, how that black, um, it's kind of, you know, would have been a weird thought for a color, but I really like how it kind of shimmers in there. And um, it's just a really pretty black. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to put our hardware on here. And I'm using these um, pliers from Resin Rockers to help with the jump ring. So we're gonna go ahead and you just hold your jump ring in one hand and you get it with the pliers in the other and you open that jump ring up and then you are going to go ahead. Again, you're trying not to touch the top of the keychain because we want to keep that as fingerprint free as possible. Kind of twists around because it is loose fitting in there. And then we're just going to close up that jump ring. There we go. So there's our keychain. And then we still have to put a charm on there. I forgot one jump ring, so I will be right back with that jump ring. All right, so I went ahead and added our little charm. And how cute is that? So there's your first completed keychain. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day.